When people want to understand climate change, this is one of the first places they come to. Ground Zero, Greenland. Temperatures here have warmed twice as fast as the rest of the planet, and the water coming off of Greenland is the single biggest contributor to sea level rise anywhere in the world. I've been writing about global warming for some time now, but it's my first chance to visit this area, which is so clearly affected by the phenomenon. I'm kayaking in a fjord near the ever-retreating Jakobshavn glacier. Covering climate change can often feel really abstract and far away, but in a place like this, it's literally right in front of you. All of these icebergs that are all around me have come from Jakobshavn Glacier. It's basically pouring ice from the top of the ice sheet and just dumping it into the ocean. The nearby fishing village of Aluluset used to be much closer to the edge of the glacier, but now it's about 50 kilometers away. According to residents like Konrad Seblon, life 300 kilometers above the Arctic Circle has changed a lot as the climate has warmed. If we look back two decades, we used to have uh, solid sea ice in front of the town. Conrad manages the UNESCO World Heritage Site, which has been protecting the ice fjord since 2004. He says the town is now experiencing a climate change boom. In the last uh, decade, in the last 10 years, we have had many visitors from outside, from all parts of the world. Last chance tourism, the notion that people flock to the Arctic as they become more aware of climate change is a relatively recent phenomenon. But tourism isn't the only sector that's thriving here. The fishermen used to go out with their dog sledges and fish halibut, but this ice has become thinner and thinner the last 15, 10 years, and it was very unstable to stay on. There are some uh, good sides of it because you can have a lot of more fish on the boat compared to a dog sled. Fishermen are now going out with their boats nearly all year round. Trade more fish, and more fish means more economy. Today, Frederick Matthiessen pulled in half a ton of halibut. It's a simple equation. Fishing from a boat means more hooks. In the 90s, the fishermen, they used uh, about 400 hooks. Today, I had uh, 2,600 hooks. In Aluluset at this time of year, even at midnight, it's still light. As I explore the area, I'm struck by both the rugged beauty and the fact that this may be one of the few places in the world where climate change is good for the economy, at least for now. My stay here is only a short one, but before I leave, I arrange one more trip on the water. It's well worth it. Wow. So just behind me, we've got three humpback whales, and down they go. They're feeding here because of all the oxygen and the nutrients that are, uh, that are here in this very deep fjord. These icebergs are full of oxygen bubbles that have become highly compressed over centuries in the glacier. The fish love it, the krill love it, and the whales really love it. It's one of the most remarkable places I've ever been to, and I wish I could stay longer, but it's time to go. As I head home, I can't help but think how coming here shows how unexpected and diverse the impacts of climate change can be. As a journalist, I hope that reporting from places like this can help people see and think about climate change in new ways. <laughs>